Hi guys, Elliot here, and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of one of the new features in Photoshop CS5, and that is Content Aware Fill. Now this version of CS5 is the extended student version, which I did buy. Um, I was using a trial, but then Amazon was selling the uh, student version for £186, which is nothing for Photoshop really, so I went ahead and bought it. You can get the uh, trial free from Adobe, you just need a Adobe account which doesn't take long to set up or you can buy the full version or the student version or I'm sure if you look hard enough on the internet you will be able to find the full version for free but if you do pirate Photoshop then you will go to hell so that's just a quick one of you so let's get into it so I have this image here which is a picture well it's actually a, a screen uh, like a frame from uh, video that I recorded of my friend Jay at the Chill Factor in Manchester. Now, I've already edited it a bit, I've changed the colours a bit to make it look a bit warmer, you might say, and um, I've also added this blur effect around the edge. Now, what the blur does is it helps bring your eye to the main subject of the picture, which is Jay in this case. But it also brings your attention to this guy down here. Now, if I remember correctly, correctly he was taking pictures. But it's a bit distracting and that's not what you want in your photo, you just want the main subject. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this guy using the new content aware fill. Now if you do this in old versions of Photoshop or any other image editor, by maybe using the uh, clone stamp tool and painting out... By painting out the... Uh, or something like this. Now you could get decent effects, but it doesn't look very good. So with this new content of what I feel it's it's uh, run special algorithms and does lots of complicated things to make it to look much better. So you don't need to be very precise, but I don't want to uh, delete any of the snowboard. So let's go uh, select around him. You could use the uh, circle tool to select it or whatever, just select that. Now once you're happy with your selection you want to go ahead and press shift delete and that brings up this box. Now we're going to be using the content aware fill but there's some other options you have. You have used the foreground and background colour which are the creamy colour and the white for me or you can use a full colour, you can use a pattern or you can use one from your history, you can use black, 50% grey or white. But we're going to be using content aware. So make sure that's ticked and then just click OK. And there we have it, it's deleted him. So if we deselect that and zoom out, you can see you can't really tell at all. It's completely gone. And that's great for retouching images. If there's any, just one part of the image that you really don't like. And you can just get rid of it. Now you can go in and clean this up a bit, but I think that's going to be fine for now. So we can just save that. And there we have it guys, that's Content Aware Fill in CS5. I hope you like my videos, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at L595. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.